Hey guys, I'm Deepthi Desikin and today's video I'm going to be talking about some new launches from Kiro Beauty. You guys know how much I love this brand. So I have a couple of products from this brand. Now Kiro Beauty is a clean beauty brand that believes in an amalgamation of science and nature. So they have very good skincare infused makeup and when a brand usually says you know skin skincare infused makeup or anything of the sort I don't usually buy it except for this particular brand because I feel like whatever skincare ingredients they actually add on to the product it actually works and you can see that uh it's a lot more like hydrating, nourishing on the skin. It's not as damaging and it doesn't like cling on to your skin weirdly, be it their, their makeup products or be it their lipstick even. And also this brand is 100% vegan and they're also cruelty free brand. They do not test on animals. Like I mentioned, this is a clean beauty brand. So they don't contain parabens in it. They don't contain uh, mercury products, animal products, so many other things, phthalates, all of that, which a lot of people are skeptical of using till date. These products don't contain any of that. And today's video, I'm going to be talking about this one. This is the Kiro Lush Moist Matte Lipstick. And this is what the outer packaging of the lipstick looks like. Now, this lipstick is infused with Moringa oil, macadamia oil, ojoba oil, cocoa butter, and vitamin E. And I feel like that makes the lipstick so super comfortable on the lips. So I will tell you guys a little bit just uh, insight about the formula and how it feels on the lips and everything before we get into the lip swatches. So this is what the actual packaging of the lipstick looks like. It is so nice and the bullet is so nice and secure, okay? So when you close it, it just goes right there and it doesn't open. I have carried this in my bag as well and I hate it when lipsticks like just decide to like okay I don't want any cap I want to breathe just throw it out in my purse and everything is out and messy I don't really like that this is nice and secure and also it's the correct shape where if you have makeup organizers it stays in that organizer pretty well it's not dangling it doesn't move around and even if you want to lay it flat on the table like that it wouldn't move around it has that grip it holds in place pretty well that is a little bit I want to talk about packaging I really want to appreciate that and it is all made in India really really nice formulation so when you first apply it it goes on with intense color payoff intense pigmentation and um, it's not like you know even if you have pigmented lips it's not like your natural pigmentation of your lips are going to peek through with this even with some kind of like peachy colors and everything there's no uh, patchiness on the lips it's not like it's showing through so i really like this okay so i wanted to test this out before i started to review this so i was wearing this underneath mask most of the times and right now because it is winter my lips are really dry and flaky it is dry and flaky right now as well but i don't have the urge to lick my lips to purse my lips together and it's not like it's going on and drying my lips out. So when I mentioned that skincare infused makeup, I feel like it is so true to this brand that it's going on so well. It makes me f like, you know, feel like I have nothing on my lips. It is super lightweight, but it performs well. And it is also long lasting. You guys wouldn't believe this. So when you wear a mask and you talk and everything, there's a little bit of moisture that's there on your lips. So usually lipsticks tend to bleed. Even this one does bleed to a certain extent, but it was not a mess. And I tested it out with a red shade. So I tried out the shade Red Beet first. So I thought that, okay, when I'm gonna be taking my mask off, it's gonna be embarrassing with the lipstick bleeding all over. and making me look like a clumsy person but it was not at all there was just like slight bleeding right here which i could fix right off it is quite long lasting and for a bullet lipstick and a lipstick that is not claiming to be super matte so the brand has mentioned that this one is like a comfortable creamy matte finish and i feel like it is exactly that so i have the shade nude garnet i really like this shade and it's not looking sheeny and there's a subtle transfer but it's not like taking off any product from my lips so I'm super impressed with the formula of these lipsticks and these are some things that I would definitely recommend for people who are looking for um, pigmentation, color payoff and also comfort and long wearing. So as you get everything in one uh, package, I feel like that's the same thing with their liquid lipsticks as well. They are like super pigmented, long lasting, comfortable on the lips, good shade selection and same goes with the lush moist matte lipsticks as well. So also the color selection of these lipsticks are really nice and balanced out. You get something if you are a nude lipstick lover, if you are somewhere you like mauve tones, brown lipsticks, you have something for that as well and you also have your reds, pinks and berry shade as well. So yeah, that is my review about these particular lipsticks and now let's get into the swatches. Now the first shade we have is called Lotus 
stew and this one is a very subtle pink with a hint of mauve so it's a very nice uh, mauve nude shade for medium and deeper skin tones for sure of course if you are of a lighter skin tone than me or if your lips are naturally a little bit more pink then this would turn out to be a little bit more pink than how it looks like on my lips such a subtle shade for everyday wear you can wear this without makeup if you are of a medium skin tone it will look like a subtle wash of color on your lips so the next one we have is the shade nude rose 02 so this is said to be a deep rose nude on the website i would describe this as a pink with a little bit of a warmer undertones to it so it has a subtle hint of like a earthy undertone to it so it looks very nice and it it's something that you can definitely wear with warm eye looks as well and something again you can pull off on a daily basis it doesn't have that much of a cool tone so it wouldn't pull you down it wouldn't make you look washed out next up we have the shade number 03 which is called dusky peach and it is exactly that it's a peachy nude shade and this would look really nice on anyone who actually likes these kind of shades especially on people of i think light and light medium skin tone so if you are someone who loves peachy nudes and you're looking for that definitely do check this out it doesn't go on patchy so what happens is usually peachy and coral kind of shades go on a little bit patchy in certain formulas but this one it's going on really nice and pigmented and there's not a hint of patchiness to be seen on this next up we have the shade tulip bloom 04 so this one is a warm pink shade and i love these kind of shades on myself i feel like again without makeup these don't pull you down it really like is very subtle but it's not too bright but not too like invisible on your lips and it looks so nice warm pink shades subtle warm pink shades are totally up my alley and a lot of you guys would really like this this again would suit all skin tones in my opinion i mean you like pink shades and you want to experiment with something a little bit more subtle something a little bit more warm you would definitely love this irrespective of your skin tone next up we have the lipstick in the shade number 05 ginger tea now this one is a mauve pink shade but i feel like it also has a little bit of brown hints to it which makes it a little bit of a different shade to wear and you guys know i love these kind of shades it has that deeper mauve hints to it which makes it so beautiful for people with medium medium tan and deeper skin tone for sure of course you can pull this one off if you have light and light medium skin tones as well but it might look a little bit deeper on your lips but i feel like with the pigmentation of my lips and the way this uh, lipstick is looking it just goes so well hand in hand and such a beautiful shade again definitely see myself reaching out for this one so much next one we have is in the shade number 06 nude garnet and this is described as a mauve brown shade and i feel like it is exactly that it is a little bit deeper than the previous shade that i showed you and it has a little bit more of a, a deeper brown hint to it that had a little bit of a warm brown and this one has a little bit of like a deeper brown hint to it which is not as warm if you know what i mean and this shade is so beautiful for all skin tones but it would serve as a beautiful nude shade for people with deeper skin tones and you can pull this one off without makeup and i love this shade and it is a little bit darker on my lips but i would love to wear this on a daily basis for sure so just imagine this lipstick with sort of like a brown eye look or like a deep gold look it will look so nice so the next shade we have is 07 warm nutmeg and this is described as a brown nude shade and i feel like it's exactly that it is a warm brown nude shade and this would look really nice on all skin tones of course it is a nude shade for my skin tone and deeper and if you are of a lighter skin tone it might look a little bit darker on your lips i feel like it's not just brown it does have a subtle hint of like a mauve hint to it which makes it a little bit different and a lot more wearable as well so i really like the shade and if you are looking for that perfect brown nude look no more next up we have the shade number 08 spicy cinnamon now this is a really nice deep rust orange shade it has a little bit of that burnt orange undertone to it and it's not just straight up orange it has subtle brown hints to it as well and these are the kind of shades that i like to wear so i don't really like like straight up orange shades now this is such a beautiful shade it's very wearable of course now it depends on your preference if you like burnt orange shades but not just a burnt orange but you like it with a little bit of brown then you would really like this particular shade it's beautiful and it would again suit all skin tones in my humble opinion 
the next shade that we have is 09 Luna Berry. Like if you are wondering, okay, where are all the deeper shades? Here it is, what an intro. So this one is described as a deep berry shade, but I would like to add in my own description for this shade. So I feel like it's not a very red toned berry shade, but it's more like on, a, on leaning towards like the purple hints. You can see a lot of purple hints to it. So it's more cool toned and it ha it's just so beautiful. If you had like a full morph toned look and you wanted to go a little bit deeper with the lips, I think you would really like this particular shade. It looks so nice and deep, but it doesn't go on patchy at all. It's so pigmented and just look at that. I love this shade. It's so different, so nice. Now let's talk about the next shade that we have that is called Red Beat number 10. Now, uh, <laughs> If you were like, okay, where are my reds? It's here. This is described as a classic deep red shade. And I feel like it's exactly that. It leans a little bit more towards the warmer hints to it because you can see a little bit like of a warm undertone to this red shade. So if you like those classic red shades and you want something with a little bit of depth to it, not just your straight up red, you can definitely look into this one. Next up, we have hibiscus petal number 11 so this one is a cool toned deep pink shade and um it's a more wearable pink shade in my opinion in case you stay away from pinks i've heard this a couple of times that not a lot of people really like pink shades and even i was in that category until i discovered the right kind of pink shade so if you wanted something that doesn't lean that much towards that lilac purplish pink side you can try this one out it is a deep pink shade and it looks really nice on the lips so yeah those were all the swatches i hope you guys enjoyed it you can see that there's a shade for every single person and it's something that you can wear on a daily basis and so this is your smart staple right here and it's for people who love to wear lipstick to work to to college to anywhere you have to be it wouldn't make it embarrassing for you it wouldn't make it like dry suck that life out of your lips suck that mosh out of your lips it wouldn't be that and this is coming from someone who has extremely dry lips i have dry flaky lips and it hasn't exaggerated it at all even right now i have dry flaky lips i am enjoying these lipsticks and i think you guys would too especially for everyone who always asks me okay give me a comfortable lipstick formula something that i can wear underneath mask but it's not drying but it's pigmented so you want every single thing and a lot of brands don't offer all of it that we want like if it's comfortable it's not pigmented if it is pigmented it can be drying and it's not comfortable so if you wanted every single thing in one lipstick maybe you should try this one out and let me know what is your favorite shade from the lipstick swatches that you saw today so you can definitely make an informed decision with this video and all the product links will be in the description box below yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.